Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching In Depth. Or maybe Out of Our Depth. So this week we saw new footage from um, Cruise, which is a company that, sh that the GM bought for about a billion dollars, um, and it's an autonomous driving company. And so a couple weeks ago they released footage, right, of them driving around San Francisco mm -hmm. um, in a Chevy Bolt, which is exciting in and of itself. Yep. Um, and the problem with that footage was it didn't show the driver. So. It, it looked like anyone could have shot that bit footage. Right. This week, they've released this footage, which you're watching now, which is a Chevy Bolt driving through the streets of San Francisco, being driven autonomously. And this time, in the lower left-hand corner, you can see that the driver is sitting there, hands just barely touching the steering wheel just to make sure it's safe, but not doing any steering. And I'm just excited by this footage. I guess last time I didn't really register it. This time I did. Yeah, so last time it was very uh, choppy. They had done a time lapse um, of the footage and they had really time lapsed it a lot. Like it was very choppy, very quick. Mm -hmm. um, so you couldn't quite get the detail. This is slightly less sped up. Right. Um, but it, and it's a lot less choppy. Um, and I mean, I want to, as you're watching this, there's some things going on here which are, first of all, driving in any city is going to be one of the most taxing things you do as a it's driver, true. right? It's, it's not easy driving. Yeah. Um, anyone can jump out at any point. And if you watch closely, you'll see a bunch of people doing what people do. They're pedestrians. They walk out and cross the street. And um, the car waits for them, gives them space. Right. Um, there's, there's stop signs, stop lights, things that my car now can't do. There's no lines on the road in most places. So, I mean, Sparky wouldn't be able to even do that. That's true. I mean, I, I do want to point out that we have seen footage of Tesla um, with the new hardware being able to do roughly basically the same thing mm -hmm. that, that um, this Bolt has been doing. Um, and we saw it before. Uh, That's true. This weeks, came out weeks and weeks ago. Right. Um, but I mean, if GM is doing this, it's exciting. I mean, we're going to be seeing it from I'm assuming all the car manufacturers mm -hmm. um, because it is. I mean, we're moving towards the future. Right. Finally. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I think that this is very exciting. Um, so a couple things that I noticed. I mean, it, it definitely wasn't perfect. Its driving style. It seemed a little hesitant okay. as a, as a as a driver. Um, whereas I would be a bit more. Um, I suppose less hesitant. Obviously, I'm not a robot, so I get pretty hesitant in cities. I, I you know, I'd rather give the benefit of the doubt to to, uh, to them. Secondly, if you look, there's a scene where it's trying to cross. Uh, it's trying to. Um, it comes up upon a white truck mm -hmm. and it's the truck is like temporarily parked blocking the road right now it has to go around that truck that is a nightmare for any driver i mean we all know we've all been there right, right. you can't see around the, the vehicle because it's huge and it's like do i go do i not go right this so, has radar has lidar i believe a lidar would not help you well so, i thought it could bounce all around the not lidar radar oh it radar might, might have been able to use radar okay um so i mean i think that that's pretty exciting um yeah, so it safely goes around the truck. more than your eyes can see. Um, so, I mean, I think that's... That's better than a human driver. I mean, when, as a human driver, you have to just kind of inch and hope and crane your neck. Right. This so is actually, I assume, looking somehow with radar to see if it's safe to go. So that that's impressive. That seems, yeah. And, I mean, when this comes out and you see footage of it really working... It broadens your mind. It lets you know that this is happening. I mean, if GM is investing money in it and a lot of money in it, that means they, they understand the value of it. So it's right. not just crazy companies like Tesla. It's this true. means the mainstream companies are all trying to do it. Right. And that's a great that's great news for all of us. Right. Because I mean, we're gonna be, we're working right now on scripting an autonomous driving future series, and um, that'll be coming out in the months to follow. We are very excited about autonomous driving because we we can see what that's going to do for all of us. Yeah, uh, and I, th I think it's something most of us have barely scratched the surface to even think barely about. Barely even like allowed your mind to even think about the possibilities mm -hmm. of. I mean, it's so exciting to think that you could just get in the car, fall asleep, wake up at your destination. You know, the car drops you off, goes, finds a place to park, or maybe it goes out, picks someone else up. There's so many elements to this, and that's why we're doing it as a multi-part series, because there's so many things that I don't think you've even thought about yet about autonomous driving, unless you've spent a lot of time thinking about it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching this in-depth episode on the Chevy Bolt driving autonomously. Mm -hmm. uh, please leave us comments below if you like this segment, if you have ideas for future segments, and uh, what your thoughts are about autonomous driving. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching. Now you know. Now you know.